All right, so chapter 1079 dropped earlier this week and so much stuff happened. I've had to split it up into two videos. I'll leave a link on screen right now to the previous video where I spoke about Shanks. However, who I really wanna talk about right now is Blackbeard. Of course, I'll be spoiling the story up to and including chapter 1079. If you haven't read up until then, this is your final warning. All right, I'm just gonna get straight to what I think is happening before I unpack all the evidence that's been uh, kind of drip fed to us. I think that the Blackbeard Pirates a fellow Yonko crew featuring a fellow supernova as the captain slash, you know, Yonko are going to try and acquire the Seraphim to add to their ranks. And I think they have a real good chance at doing just that. Now, a large piece of story development happened here that not that many people are really talking about because of the legendary shit that went down with Shanks. So let's start talking about Blackbeard. So Blackbeard has just personally had an encounter with the Seraphim. This happened on Amazon Lily. I can't remember if it was S Snake or S Hawk that actually attacked him, but Blackbeard, he started off, he recognized the dark skin, the white hair, the flames on their back and the black wings as traits of the Lunarians. So he clearly knows about that part of history. Then he had to use Haki to block an attack and he sweated it, he really put in effort now, it's quite soon after that that we've seen one of his ships approaching Egghead Island. And I think it's so that he can acquire the Seraphim to strengthen his, his crew and like his fleet. With what we now know about York, how she doesn't want to die, she has taken steps to frame the other people. She wants to be a celestial dragon. Uh, she's allowed the Seraphim to pick off the other Vegapunks to leave her as a sole survivor. And she wants to escape. Well, doesn't she sound a lot like Blackbeard? The thing that Blackbeard really needs right now is a way to control the Seraphim. The thing that York really needs and, you know, wants is safety. So it looks like these two can actually help each other out, doesn't it? Now, Blackbeard, he is a scaredy cat, but he's not scared to ask for help. And he will win by any means necessary, any low down, dirty trick or tactic. He's a pirate. He's named off the most famous or, you know, infamous pirate in history. By having the Seraphim behind him, he's basically got the warlords behind him. The fact that the world used to be all balanced, you know, between the world government, the Yonko and the seven warlords, means that if one of the Yonko had the power of the warlords behind them, then the whole world is going to have to work together to stop them. This could be the start of the modern day God Valley, where marines and pirates teamed up to defeat a powerful pirate. If York runs into the Blackbeard pirates, it would only be a matter of time before they figure out that a mutually beneficial deal for them both would be to team up. So. Why does Blackbeard need to strengthen his fleet? Let's get into that. So chapter 1079 really put emphasis on the fact that Shanks' wider fleet is not very strong. They're straight gag characters, to be honest. Now, we don't know much about Blackbeard's extended fleet. We don't know that much about his direct crew even, but we do know that at this point, they're all captaining their own ships, but we would kind of expect that they're leading some fairly fodder crew. This, however, doesn't really make sense with Blackbeard's MO, in my opinion. And I think we've gotten a hint in this chapter as to the why in regards of why Blackbeard has sent his crew or himself to Egghead. Now, I don't think it's actually Blackbeard who's arrived. I think he'll have his hands full with Garp, but you can tell by the design of this ship and the, the logs that it is at the very least one of his commanders, not some random ship from his fleet that flies his flag by association. Now I think about it, we haven't actually seen anything about his crew outside of his commanders. Quite contrary to Shanks and his reportedly weak fleet, you'd assume that Blackbeard would actually put in a bit more effort in his crew and fleet beneath him. He would surround himself with strong people to help support him when he needs it most. Blackbeard is patient to a T, and it makes perfect sense that he would amass a super strong fleet, just the same way that he amassed a super strong crew by breaking the majority of them out of Impel Down. The same way that he yelled and begged for his crew to help him out when he attacked Whitebeard at Marineford. So I hope I've convinced you a little bit. I think that the Blackbeard pirates are going to meet up with York, somehow come to an agreement with her. She is going to either join his crew or at the very least join his fleet and be the one that's going to help him to control the Seraphim, use them against other pirate crews, use them against the world government. It's going to be a massive, massive power boost to him. And especially in this end game, it's going to be game changing. 
Anyway, that's just my two cents. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. So please feel free to jump in below in the comments. Let me know. I love having a chat. I love talking to everyone about it. Uh, this is True Love and I will talk to you soon.